Oh. Oh, well, that's interesting. I guess we're starting out. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's Twin Needle Day right here yep. at uh, Make It Monday. So we fixed it, I think. I think. Shoot. All right. I don't even know which button to push anymore. There you go. Sorry, Elaine. Anyhow, we're doing twin needle embroidery oh. today. Okay, well, so much for that. <laughs> we'll start again. Start again. Mm -hmm. Good exactly. morning. Good, Good morning. afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon, whatever time it is. So, Welcome All to right. Amy Sews Make It Monday. Hey, Elaine. Hi, Patricia. Everybody's bopping on now. Hi, everybody. Fran. Franny. Pat, Patricia, Julie all right very good mary dean everybody's here so what are we doing today james we're uh taking our embroidery a step up by doing twin needle embroidery so instead of having a single needle in the machine i have a double or twin needle to the machine as it's importing out your name perfect so and the fun thing about it is is that if you want to do something different with your monograms and let's say you want to do like a layering or a shading effect or whatever it takes twice as long because if you're doing it on the stitches built in your machine, it'll take twice as um, much bob and thread and twice as long to sew out. Where in this case, it does it in the same amount of time with less bob and thread because you're only using one bob and thread. Yes. Yeah, so twin needle for your embroidery. Let's take a peek. Is it done? I think so. Maybe we could talk a little bit about the setup Ooh. and everything. Let's see. What do we got? All right. I did it. Look how cool that is. It almost has like a drop shadow yeah. um, in there. Do you like that? That is pretty, pretty amazing, James. Pretty cool beans. And it's still very thin because it's only one bobbin thread. Yeah, that's awesome. And that was just using the font that was built in the M17. All right, perfect. So we're, we have our orange one too. Oh, yeah, we have this our big one. one. We have our big one, right? You want to, we'll show it right here. Yeah. So this is on a full hoop. This is a quilting design. And it has a purple thread and an orange thread. Kind of vibrates on that screen, too. Yeah, it's very uh, psychedelic, right? It's, uh, but that's twin needle embroidery. And let me show you the back so you can see. And again, just one bobbin thread. So it is, I kind of like the back almost as much as I like the front. I don't know, like the way it locks in or that something. That would be cool if you wanted to do like a reversible garment. Yeah, that like would that. Be, that would and make cool. your own fabric. Exactly. So if you don't know what a twin needle is, it's two needles on one shaft, yep. right? Yes. And um, I have one handy over here. You think, I think yes. there's one in there? Our magic drawer. <laughs> and everything through the with, magic of television. Through the magic of television, right? So. Um, want me to pop over there? This sure, one? you can pop wherever you want to pop, Jim. How about that? There we go. So that is a twin needle. So, Oops. all right. So I'm getting there, Lori. Lori's already commenting. So let's let's address Lori right now. So Lori, um, oops, wrong. Sorry, wrong button. Um, yes, Lori. If you have an embroidery only machine, you have a single hole throw plate. This is for combination machines only. Is that a six millimeter? Yes. yes. So six millimeter is as wide as most sewing machines will take. You mm -hmm. need to check first, right? Yes. Because the opening, the oval, that oval that's in your throw plate could be five millimeters, six millimeters, seven millimeters, nine millimeters, depending on your brand. That's yeah. Tijinomi M17. Um, that's a nine millimeter opening. So, um, Six, six millimeter is as wide a twin needle, needle as you can find. Mm -hmm. You can do it with a two, a four. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, look here. A triple. Trip. Triple. You can do a triple. I've done a trip. I've done a triple. I know. That seems like one more thing to do. But anyhow. You just make sure you just slow down the machine. Slow down the machine. And, and lighten up on the needle tension. Yeah. And because you don't know what you're going to get until you get it. Right? Yeah. There's no way. And you can sew with a twin needle, too. You can do decorative stitches with a twin mm -hmm. needle. But the same thing on a dual machine, you have a twin needle safety button that won't let you out sew your throw plate. So right. it's all with caution, right? That's kind of our philosophy when we were raising Zach and the grandkids. 
um, learn to do dangerous things cautiously. Yes. Right. You know, you're doing a dangerous thing. You could have a bad outcome, but if, you approach and, it with a mindfulness. You'll be fine. <laughs> and the first time I tried it, I actually turned my hand wheel just to make sure the needle cleared the throat plate. And once I was sure of that I knew I could do it. Right. Because embroidery is just a one up and down. There's no. Right. Yeah. The needles go up and down. It's the hoop that moves right. side by side. So is it possible we can change the camera so they can see how you thread? That she wants sure. to see how you thread it. So something I learned from my brother, he worked in a steel mill that when they are rolling steel, when they're making cables, one spills off clockwise and one goes counterclockwise. If when you thread your machine, if it's the same way where you have a thread that spools this way and a thread that spools this way, they won't twist as they're going down through the tension assemblies. All right, let's switch over to James. All right, buddy, here we go. So we're going to throw you, show you kind of how to thread it a little bit. Yeah. This so, machine's so dang big, it's hard to keep it in the picture and zoom in. So if you're concerned about, like Amy said, with them coming off the same direction, like right now they would be, I would take one of them, maybe put a, an accessory spool cap on it and put it spool down. And that way it's coming off the opposite direction. Hopefully. Right. Or just do it horizontally. Right. So yes, you have a couple of most machines. If you just have, if you just have a machine that has only one spool pin, there's a chance are you have a smaller opening for your throw plate, mm -hmm. right? So these big machines have multiple ways. Um, you may have to use a, a holder that goes off to the side of your mm -hmm. machine to get two threads in. Yeah. Um, it, but you can, you can do that. And then to help separate the two, because on uh, the M17, there's a separate little pre-clip for the bobbin when you're winding that. I put my second thread through that one. Right. So that's that uh, help, helps to keep them separate. And then they go through the same delivery system uh, pretty much as one. And then I individually threaded each one. I did not use the built-in needle threader. Yes, you cannot use your needle threader. And did you put them both behind the clip above the needle bar? No, I put one behind and one in front. Yeah, so putting both back there is dangerous, yes. right? It's, it'll cause them to twangle up and... Yeah, so it kind of pre-separates them. Yeah, because breaking a twin needle is a $5 deal. I'm yeah. Kind of, it's a, I'm pretty it's, sure it's at least yeah. $5 deal <laughs> anymore. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, so then turn the hand wheel slowly to make sure that it clears your throat plate. I love that needle, that needle drop okay, from this way. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that is so handy not to have to reach all the way around that machine to do that. So perfect. Yeah. So then now you're ready. So that we and had then, a quick, and ahead. then the machine was slowed down. So I went to its slowest speed because yep. this one says fast. Yeah. And then I reduced my needle tension. I believe it was at 2.2. I brought it down to 2.0. Right. So you might want to just loosen things up a little bit, but we had a question. Um, Someone said, does the auto trim need to be turned off? No. No. On, it, an, it, on an older machine, I'm going to say yes. Yeah, but this one, it worked fine on this one. And I forgot to turn it off. We forgot to turn it off, <laughs> so it's going to be fine. And that has to do with that um, fetcher coming over and grabbing both of them to pull them. The modern, the new modern machines will do that. Door said, don't use the auto threader. Um, and I will tell you, that probably is a brand specific deal. Yeah. Right. Um, I know with Janome, you're good. I've never done it on the brother, so I can't ask that. Lori's going to say probably no with the um, Bernina as well. It's a safety thing. So turn it off. It doesn't matter because yeah. you think about it, you're going to have two loose threads when it comes up. So maybe just turn it off mm -hmm. just to be safe. But yes, the Janome M17 will cut both, cut both of them. Um, all right. Oh. Where's everybody? Everybody's hanging in there today. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have a favor. Make sure you sprinkle this out to the universe. Uh, like you make sure you click the little blue thing. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we can't say the words, but uh, <laughs> the more people that know about Make It Monday, the more people, more people that know about Amy Sews, this class is available to purchase separately. Mm -hmm. It is a mix and match quilting at amysews.com. It's um, cutting with your scan and cut, but the yeah. SVG files there, if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette, embroidery or traditional applique. There's a video as well as all the files are there. And um, all right, Lori just popped on. Oh, we get, <laughs> all right. Lori is in mama mode. Let's see. Oh, wrong one. Hang on a second. This is uh, no, 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 yeah. no, no auto cutter. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. 
Um, it was, I love the Twininos. Our store had some on clearance. I bought them all. The Triple Ninos tried them yet. Can't wait. Absolutely. Oh, they're fun. Um, and the fact that your dealer has twin needles on clearance blows my mind because I don't have a sample. But one yeah. of my favorite things to do with a twin needle is get a nice spongy sweatshirt knit, draw a design like a flower, whatever, and use your twin needle and it draws up that tunnel and it sculpts mm -hmm. that knit. We probably can do that. Oh, we should do that. We should do that. Okay. Because I love the way that looks. I don't know if you're familiar with that designer, that Alabama Channon. She does the channel work with the hand stitching. Anyhow, her stuff is beautiful. Sounds but cool. um, yeah, anyway. Well, thing too, Dart, if you do the pop in the triple needle, when I've done monograms before, I've threaded it with a gray, white, then black thread and done it like in a marbleized fabric. And it looks like it's carved into the stone when you do a monogram that way. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so the triple needle, it's going to be the same thing. You're just going to thread it. And, yeah. You know, but all of them go through the same tension assembly. Mm -hmm. If you have, and I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't like that. If you have a Viking or a Foff with the split tension with that new roller bar assembly, um, if you can see you're in your tension, there's two discs that go like this. There's a center post, then two discs. You might want to try to split that. Yeah, one on either side. Yeah. It's that's great just, for that. That's a brand specific thing. Most mm -hmm. machines you do not have to do. Yeah. to do that with um but with all brands lighten up in your needle tension yeah just loosen just loosen it up a little bit so um oops, I, I love okay here we go we gotta see how <laughs> oh, i have a lot of sweatshirts and stash all right we will add that that will be a good make it monday mm -hmm. um type situation oh so, and one thing i forgot to mention too if you do this with like a traditional stencil design or a uh, quilting design with the double or even a triple needle and different colors like a red, a blue, and a green or yellow, whatever. It looks like spirograph effects. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love my I love my spirograph <laughs> as a kid. You probably still have it. I I know I ended up buying one for the boys. Oh, that's good. And they realized they could just grab my iPad and go and to the Procreate app and just doodle with the pen. <laughs> Nobody wants to do Saves it. on paper, I guess. I, I I guess. I give up. Okay, little leg. Did you use a twin needle in the embroidery machine? Yes, Teresa. This is all twin needle embroidery, right? So that's one stitch out, twin needle. Um, it really one shaded it well. And it did a good job with that. But I'm going to show you what the back looks like. It's a little chunky because of all those knots and stops. So maybe that's a good thing to turn the cutter off. So, well, we messed up, so you don't have. That's right. We messed up, so you don't have to, right? And so that's and sometimes in in the excitement mm -hmm. of like, oh, let's do this. Yeah. We, but I like it, what you said too, because the back looks almost as good as the front. Yeah, I agree. I think that's really. If you if you were quilt like if you used a matching bob and thread, right? Like if you yeah. picked a purple or orange bob and thread, if you were doing like a quilted. Um, piece for like to make a purse or a ziplock like a zipper bag or something yeah that would be stunning right because it looks like plaid yeah you know, that's big enough piece to make a wallet or something out of or so. even it, like say if you did out of the green or something back here you'd have that little hint of extra color for like like you said that's for, the, true, for right? like the lining yeah or metallic so, in the bottom is there a different foot pressure using a twin no needle? no no. Not the same foot that you right. use for embroidery. We're not asking you to do anything except one rolls clockwise, one rolls counterclockwise. You're going to thread them the same except for above the eye, the needle. One goes behind the hook, mm -hmm. one in front. Mm -hmm. No manual threader, automatic threader, meaning you're going to poke your up, poke them with yeah. your eyes. And um, just same bobbin, right? right mm -hmm. One bobbin because you're only using one for one bobbin. Yep. And we turn off the thread cutter. <laughs> yeah. And then um, slow your machine down. Slow your machine down. Exactly. And also reduce your needle tension. Yeah. So th what that does is just relaxes the threads. Because yeah, there's a little more bit. thread going through it. There's a one lot time. of thread going through that tension assembly. So, anyhow, so Jim just got done in Atlanta. Yeah. Right. For the original Sun Quad Expo, we had a great time. It says it's packed. It was yeah. packed. Right. So if you're. Uh, planning to attend, I would suggest you sign up early for the classes because otherwise they sell out right away. Right. So Cleveland's next, right? No, next is this week. It's Lakeland, Florida. Oh, I thought you were home for a while. All right. It's going to no. be Lakeland, Florida. Right. Then, then I'm home then until Cleveland. Cleveland. Which is a whole week-ish. 
or a little more. Anyway, so we'll we make have, it work. So we have two buses um, leaving the store here to go to Cleveland. And they're filled up now, aren't they? Or uh, almost? No, we have 20 spots off in the second bus, which I imagine will fill up between now and. Oh, yeah. They'll go fast. And then, yeah. So. Um, we can go and, harass Jim in class. Yeah. And there's a lot of new vendors. I met a couple of new ones that were in um, Atlanta and they are planning on coming to Cleveland. So you meet a couple of new faces and I believe a couple favorites that haven't been around for a while are coming back too. Yeah. I think the world needs to is back to socializing and yeah. hands-on shopping. Right. We learned firsthand when you pick a color online. <laughs> Yeah, it's not exactly always, it looks different on the screen than when you get different, it. Different, right. So the Serger boxes just shipped a couple of days ago. So if you're part of our Serger box membership where you get your class and your supplies, um, they're on their way to you. The Scan and Cut box is open for a new registration. So if you want to join us, go to Amy oh, the Scan and Cut box. Um, we sort of know what we're doing for the next box, but we never know till the last deadline of what we're doing for the next it's month. gonna be fun it's gonna be fun. yeah exactly so okay let's see okay someone said let's see definitely would do a sample using metallic thread with a twin or name yeah yeah oh. yes yeah, so the only metallic thread i would even attempt that with would be king star metallic metallic thread has a mind of its own it's not really metallic thread it's polyester thread wrapped mm -hmm. around a core mm -hmm. but anyhow but you're on your own if y'all want to use a uh, metallic thread you're on your I've own. done it I put metallic in my serger I can do metallic mm -hmm. thread but I I don't know that 20 don't embroidery because they stack on each other I think I've that been when challenged. metallic thread rubs it may yeah. it may cause a little bit of grief for you so um we've got Susie she's going to be on the rewind crew because she's late I sent a text out so Hopefully everybody got the text. So, all right, everybody, this is another Make It Monday in the books. So mm -hmm. we will, um, oh, we got Sue just signed up for the scanning cover. Great. Yay. I'm so excited. Welcome, Sue. I know. I know. I am, I am this, well, I'm going to say I used to be this close. Now I'm this close to my Your first goal? big goal. So we're going to just keep going going until well, maybe after lakeland we'll get that goal met let's hope so let's hope so the serger box is growing as yeah. well so we're excited about that. that is so much and apparently they love the pro like the garment projects we've been doing yeah and so the serger box this month is garment ish mm -hmm. it's an accessory it's really cute um so the first you can always tune in here the second tuesday of the month which is tomorrow yeah oh which is tomorrow at 6 p.m. <laughs> Eastern, and we'll be unveiling what's in the surgery mm -hmm. box. And, and then, then the week after, when I'm home, we got our class. We got our class, right. So you can always get on the wait list. Yeah. So perfect. All right, everybody, have a terrific day because the more you know, the more you sew.